And then they hate him. Rudy will get the rose. No, he's going to be fired. It seems like a reality show is going on. And then to add some spice, Trump tweeting random distractions, like saying millions voted illegally. Not true. Or that flag burning should be illegal. So is this strategy or just tragedy? Let's discuss. We have a good panel for you this morning. We've got CNN political commentator Paul Begala, Democratic strategist extraordinaire. We have CNN political commentator, former senior advisor to Mitt Romney, Kevin Madden, political commentator and political editor for RightsAlerts.com, Scotty Nell Hughes. Good to have you all here. Uh, Kevin Madden, you've been involved with this before. What is your observation as into the motivation of this here? The obvious dissent going on is it just pageantry or is there some purpose here well I, I think we I think we're trying to uh, scribe a prescribe a strategy to it would be going a bit too far I think that um, what uh, what the mistake that we all make in watching this process play out is that we try to judge it against what we believe were conventional transitions or uh, of the past and you just can't do that I mean the Trump uh, campaign was successful because it was very unconventional uh, and it was a campaign that litigated its differences uh, in public uh, whether that was uh, in the newspapers or uh, non-stop on cable television or on social media. So this is the new norm that you're going to, I, I think, see with the Trump campaign. Uh, probably, I'm sorry, with the Trump transition, and very likely one th that we'll probably see go, going into the administration, which is a public airing of, of differences, a little bit of chaos between power centers inside the administration, uh, power centers inside Trump world, uh, and then ultimately uh, the, 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 the president-elect himself, Donald Trump, making the decision. So, Scott, you got Tom Price coming out. Uh, he is a legit author of different versions of how to do health care in this country, gets the big job of HHS, but gets overrun by the president-elect's tweets saying that millions voted illegally, which is just not true, but a distraction, and now saying flag burning should be illegal, which comes out of nowhere. Why is he stepping on his own thunder? To I don't know. Misplaced that <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's necessarily over one. There's lots of things this morning that it, Mr. Trump is giving us to cover. So consider it to be actually kind of a gift, Chris, that you don't just have to stick on the same subject. Uh, but it is a great thing to see Tom Price. I think Representative Price is actually one of the Republicans that offered a solution, just like all of the people that Mr. Trump is putting on the cabinet. And here's the thing. One, pro one message that was clearly sent by the people to Washington, D.C., was that we need transparency in government. The people don't trust what is going on. So while we might consider this to be kind of pomp circumstance, almost like the apprentice cabinet, uh, as they go up and get into the gold elevators and go up to the floor for their interview, I think this is actually Mr. Trump saying, look, I'm going to keep everything out in the public. I'm going to show you who I'm talking to and showing you that I'm bringing a variety of ideas to the table, even those ideas and those people that might have been my foe for the past year. Mm. Paul Begala, uh, not, uh, Scotty Nell Hughes says it's all about transparency yeah, I know, from I Donald Trump, who has made transparency that. a dirty word right. in his own campaign. Right. That, in fact, it's about the lack of transparency. Trump, I, I disagree with Matt, and, and it's entirely possible that you're right, Kevin. You're a lot smarter than I am. But I think there is a strategy, and the strategy is weapons of mass distraction. Right? When, when, when uh, the, the Trump University lawsuit was settled, and Donald Trump and his firm paid $25 million to people who accused him of fraud, what did he do? He tweeted out attacks on the cast of Hamilton and Saturday Night Live. Why? Because we all chase the shiny object. Now the New York Times is massive, and CNN has also covered, massive conflicts of interest all around the world that our new president will have. In, in Turkey, in India, in Ireland, in Scotland, in Brazil, in the Philippines. What does he do? Instead of saying, look, I do have these, I'll be transparent. I'm going to release all my taxes and I'm going to sell all my companies because I'm going to put my, own, my sole efforts into representing the American people, which is what he must do if he's transparent and ethical. No, instead, he tweets out attacks on CNN, uh, it lies about uh, the popular vote, which he lost by over two million, and now apparently his new theories on constitutional law. Those are all a strategy of distraction to divert us from this conflict of interest. Kevin Madden, weapons yep. of mass distraction. <laughs> that is a catchy phrase. Do you agree with it? Well, let me extend and uh, revise my remarks uh, in <laughs> accordance with what the gentleman from Texas said. Um, I, I think the transition part of it was what I was talking about, which I don't think there's a big strategy there as far as how they uh, air a lot of the grievances or the differences they have about some of the picks publicly. But Paul is right that um, what, what Donald Trump seems to like is uh, a lot of chaos uh, around. And because when there's chaos in the media and there's chaos amongst his opponents, when they're chasing off on these stories about you know constitutional law or whether or not the media is fair, uh, he's firmly put in control. Uh, and when he's allowed to dictate 
the uh, the cadence and the, the tone of a lot of the, the media coverage. We're about to go into a 48 hour cover, uh, 48 hour news cycle now, just on this uh, on this question of flag burning. Um, he's he is actually in control, and when he's in control, that's right where he wants to be. So in that sense, I think where what they're doing on the social media side is definitely a strategy. Hmm. I don't know, Kev. You know, I mean, we're not going to go crazy about it here because you got clear constitutional president passed in 1969. Yeah, maybe that's the benefit but of having a lawyer. Your, check on, your, wait, 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 check your iPhone said, right now for Twitter, right? Listen, no, but look, we let, only let me, control. Let me tell you what, what he's talking. We only control because here's what we the can. Thing. Scotty, go ahead, make your point. Well, here's my thing, and I and I can't believe that I'm stepping stepping into this conversation because I've learned never usually to involve outside the subject matter. But when it comes to it, he said that he thinks it should be outlawed. He, he doesn't like it. I think a majority of Americans doesn't like. It. He's not saying that he's going to issue an executive order to make flag burning uh, illegal. And let's remember, the Supreme Court hasn't always gotten it right, Chris. 1858. The Supreme Court ruled that Dred Scott should still remain a slave, and so, uh, despite him living uh, amongst a free territory. So, you know, he's just actually just throwing it out there. He's allowed to have his opinion. He doesn't think abortion is right. He thinks states should be the ones voting on whether or not they can have abortions. He's throwing it out there. He's not saying, I'm going to make an executive order, make it illegal. So let's not make a big to-do out of everything. He's actually just showing he thinks it's You're wrong. Also, just for, people for the to record, the Scotty, flag. he couldn't issue an executive order making it Exa illegal. Well, exactly. Just, just so, so you know, the president doesn't make laws. Good thing to remember. But, but why, why, 